Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And for the Memphis Grizzlies guys, they come in off that loss to the Timberwolves. Yeah, a long and tiring game, made worse, obviously, by the fact they ended up in the second overtime falling short, which can be a real morale killer. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Adams is out there with Anderson. Then it's Brooks. Then it's Morant. And it's Herter in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Brooks. Stolen by Bird. Pass to Stockton. To the paint. Malone passes to Bird. Here's Ewing. Knocked away. Shoots over Adams. Ewing can't hit. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. What's the most important thing, Clark, a player has to focus on when it's this early in the season? Well, I think one is making sure you're in really good shape and then getting comfortable with your teammates is another element. And getting your chemistry and timing back, those are probably the most important things. Bird against Brooks. And then Malone with the dunk. There's the peripheral vision we talk about. Bird finding a wide open teammate. Morant passes to Adams. Brooks outside. Off target with his three. Three on three. Pass to Stockton. Now Ewing. Trying to find Bird. He's got it now. They double-team Bird. Comes up empty down low. Brooks finds Morant. Over Stockton. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Jordan's shot is off. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. You know, that's a quick 0 for 4 now. At what point do you call a timeout and reset? Down low, Malone. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Malone's got his second bucket. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Get ready for the dance squad! Brooks with it. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Driving inside. The rebound by Malone. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Back to Stockton. Passes to Bird. They double-team Bird. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And here are the Grizzlies now. The Grizzlies trail by four. Morant passes to Brooks. Memphis moving it around. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Bird. 
The pass to Stockton. Let's it go from deep. The Grizzlies pull it in. Here's Herder. Pass to Brooks. Back to Herder. Pass to Morant. Connects from three-point range. Three. And this is something Morant must keep working on. When he's dialed in from distance, this offense is at a whole nother level. Now here's Tuck. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kicks it to Bird. To the inside. And there's Carl Malone on the assist by Bird. Boy, the focus from Malone impressive. Not allowing the defense to get the better of him on these difficult finishes. Here's Morant. Malone with the block. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain the possession here. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Herder. Ball's knocked loose, and Memphis turns it over again. Home team ball! Moran's gone. One of three shooting so far. Stockton passes to Bird. Fires for three. They get it back. Jordan. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And Adams has got the ball here for Memphis. Brooks misses. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. And it's Malone missing. And already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. What a death pass by Morant. He finds a wide open man as quickly as anybody in our league. Here's Jordan following the score by Memphis. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. You know, Jordan is an accomplished scorer inside. I mean, it feels like he can get whatever shot he wants on the block. Now a timeout called by Memphis. The adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Grizzlies trail by three. Morant with it. Patrick Ewing covering. And Ewing with the block. Great at knowing when to time and go up for the rejection. Ewing a superb defender. Shot clock at six. Here's Herder. He's guarded by Ewing. And they'll get another chance. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the home team. I asked him about the task of slowing down John Morant. Coach said 
The one thing you can't account for with Morant is his explosiveness. Everything else you can plan for, but sometimes they'll just beat you. And Kevin, that's what they mean when they say good defense, better offense. Back to you. All right, David, thanks. Jordan often gets his hoops off the dribble, but he also is capable as a catch-and-shoot guy. Now Adams. No points in the game yet for him. Dishes it to Morant. There's the drive. That one, no good. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Here's Jordan, and Jordan smacks it home. Jordan. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Morant against Stockton. Back to Bird. Passes it to Ewing. Five on the clock. Jordan the pass to Bird. They get the rebound. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And he's got his first chance at the line here. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. Bain comes in for Brooks. DeAnthony Melt, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Chris Dunn subbed in for John Morant. And Malone, a remarkable power forward. His footwork, incredible. And that jump shot is wet. Now, here's Dunn. The pass to Melton. They could use a bucket. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. Really at the right play defensively. If you can't block, the Grizzlies. force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Free throw drops for Melton. For a number of seasons, offensive output, Greg, has been on the rise, as we've seen. But last year, it went to a whole different level. I mean, how about two years ago with, with Dallas? They had the greatest offensive season since all the way back in 1973, averaging over 116 points per 100 possessions. Get this, last year, seven teams beat that record. Melton hits them both. And the home team has possession. Ten-point lead. Now here's Jordan. He's got six. There's the steal. Melton feeling it out a bit. Tipped away. And so the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Memphis ball. Johnson is checked in for Stockton. Magic Johnson. Dunn up top. He's guarded by Ewing. Here's Melton. Four on the clock. Here's Payne. Good work defensively by Johnson. Outside Pippen. in reverses Robinson and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass 
Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Lobs it up for Jordan. A flawless finish on the alley. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now, here's Dunn. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Inside. It's deflected. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Checking in for your home team. Christian Leitner. Clyde Drexler. The Grizzlies trail by 12. And here's Melton. Robinson with the block. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan, easily allowing him to turn away shots. Now here's Johnson. To the middle. The nine-foot shot. And Robinson gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Here's Bain. Nice D from Pippen. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Two yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. Jones checked in for Memphis. Tyus Jones. We've got 155 left in the first quarter. Here's Johnson. Makes it off the glass. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Jones drives in. Clearly a foul. Magic yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those foul. free throws. Second team foul. This is his Shooting first trip to the line tonight. Tyus and over Jones. the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. The first one falls. He makes one of two that time. 129 left to play here in the first. Pippen against Jones. Kicks it out to Johnson. Nailed from three-point land. Johnson's got five now. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now, here's Adams. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Here's Johnson. Five points in the game. 56 seconds left in the first. Outside for Pippen. Clock at four. Shoots over Adams. Offensive rebound. Tries again. Robinson passes to Wagner. 
I'll tell you what, Leitner is a reliable and versatile big guy. A creative scorer who also does a good job rebounding. This is his first free throw of the game. Your home team, Christian Leitner, taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for. And so he makes both from the line. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first. Jones with it. There's 21 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Johnson outside. Here's the teardrop. And the layup is up and in. At seven points for Johnson. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Kicks it out to Jones. Adams, the pass to Melton. Over Drexler. And just miss after miss right now. We're at the end of the first quarter. And what a blowout already in this one. Delivering the blowout. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Here's Drexler. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Drexler out there with Johnson. And it's ABC. Then it's Mullen. And it's Robinson in its center. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Now, here's Melton. Drexler defending. Up top, Melton. Just five to shoot. From downtown... And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Lock at six. Feeds to Adams. With one on the clock. The rebound by Mullen. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by Jones. And the shot is good from Johnson. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Now, here's Melton. To the paint, stolen by Robinson. Here's Drexler. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Here's Bain. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. To the middle. It's stolen by Mullen. Pass to Drexler. Shoots over Melton. Here's Robinson. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, I like the interior game of Robinson. Really does a nice job getting 
Exclusive. Going to work. Greg, you're a former player, team. and now the father David of a young Robinson. NBA star. What's it like to see the next generation of NBA talent move into the league? Oh, it's an incredible feeling because we all feel like we're a part of this NBA family. And to see the stars we have today, the character they have, the way they approach the game, man, this is the best time ever to be an NBA fan. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. No good off the front eye. Morant's gotten just one of six shots to fall here. Here's Bird. Tries again. And Robinson with the layup. Robinson's got five points in the quarter. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Now here's Brooks. The Grizzlies with another miss. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And here's Morant following Larry Bird's three. Bird against Brooks. Over Bird. Brooks misses. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Now, here is Robinson. And he banks in the lane. Robinson's got 11. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Brooks outside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Mullen. Here's Stockton. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Morant. Over Stockton. And it's Morant missing. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And there's the feed to Bird. Over Clark. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Pass to Herter. Morant outside. Six to shoot. Shoots over Bird. And it's Morant missing. And if you're wondering if Ja Morant lacks for confidence, well, look no further than his point God moniker. This kid is fearless, and he's hungry, and he plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Mullen with the ball. He's picked up by Morant. Mullen passes to Robinson. Hey, fly, fly. No good. Shot missing. Good D by Anderson. And Craig, you talk about the fearlessness for Morant. Reminiscent of Allen Iverson. The way he throws his body all around. I mean, get knocked down. Get right back up. At the same time, at 6'3", he can add strength to that frame. I know that's the goal of his as he looks to absorb contact and dish out a little of his own. Drexler drawing the double team and he gets the whistle. Two free throws Brandon coming up. Third person. It goes foul. on Brandon Second Clark. Team foul. Yeah, one of the more entertaining players we've seen the in the game. Clyde Drexler, Drexler. The Clyde. Athleticism all over the place. First trip to the line for him here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Johnny's checked in for Dylan Brooks.
Both free throws good from Drexel. Here's Morant. That's tipped and stolen by Stockton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second no wasted foul. trips at all. Third They're taking foul. care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, at knock the down those free throws. Team. And 100% free Stockton. throwing for the quarter, the line for that's two. superb. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Stockton, just a remarkable point guard. Lights out shooter and an even better distributor. And Stockton drops them both. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. Anderson against Malone. And Anderson kicks to Morant. Takes it inside. He gets that one. John Morant. Morant's got his second bucket of the night. Hard trying to contain Morant. When he makes up his mind, he's going to score. He goes full force. Here's Trexler, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul, fourth team foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Clyde Trexler, two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Both free throws good from Drexler. And it's Anderson with the ball for Memphis. Drives to the hoop and finished off by Anderson. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down like that. It sure does look good. Bucket is good. Boy, I love watching Stockton share the ball. He does it with such a plum. He's unselfish and always looking for the open man. Dunn passes to Clark. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's Stockton. Six points for him. Drexler right side. From 15 feet away, it's rebounded by Memphis. Here's Herder. Done outside. Six on the shot clock. Right at the free throw line. Malone with the block. That's a three and they get it there. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Scotty Pippins checked in for Drexler. Now Stockton. Pass to Jordan. Over Morant. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. 
Jordan's got four points in the quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far, and when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Here's Morant. And it's Malone with the rebound. Inside. Fade away. It's Ewing that time and the assist by Malone. Ewing's got his first basket of the night. Very self-confident in the paint. Ewing excels at scoring close to the hoop. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the basket is good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Stop in the shot is good. Even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. And stolen by Jordan. up the alley pass and it's Pippen with the jam absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection I don't think you'd get an argument there everybody loves the alley -oop. unless you're the team getting punched on that would be the difference here's Morant after the made shot from Scotty Pippen Anderson's shot is off well he's much better than that really no excuse for missing that lay in and it's Pippen missing. Pippen's gone one of four from the field. Dunn passes to Clark. He kicks to Morant. Over Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. One on Pippen. First team hey, coming foul. out of high school, John Morant said he Shoot. was a no-star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small-town upbringing. Growing up in Dalzell, South Carolina. That's good from Morant. And even though he played on an AAU team with Zion Williamson, you know, scouts, Greg, were looking right past John Morant. And, and didn't get a lot of offers at first. After two years at Murray State, he, he joined Steph Curry and Damian Lillard as another star point guard out of a mid-major program. And to this day, he carries that underdog chip on his shoulders. Both free throws, good from Morant. Already embracing his role as a leader on this team. Morant Two brings a eight. strong work ethic and winning mentality to this team. Now here's Pippen. Here's Ewing. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got six rebounds now in the game. Jordan against Morant. Malone with the block. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Well, it's good to see Jordan focus on distributing the ball some. I mean, an all-around talent, one of the greatest ever, who does everything for this team. Adams taking his time here. Jones against Malone. Jones the pass to Adams. Just three to shoot. Knocked loose. Morant back for two. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Health is checked in. Johnson against Jones. The pass to Ewing. It's Jordan on the wing. 12 points for him. And it goes down two points. And that's 13 points for ABC. Boy, I tell you what, Malone, an excellent pick and roll threat. And a knockdown shooter, too, which makes him hard to guard. Malone against Jones. A 
clock at six. From deep three-point range, Memphis the rebound. Poke loose. Clark the pass to Bain. Goes back up, and the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Let's the three fly. They get it back. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Delivering the blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Taylor Jenkins is here with us in the second quarter. Coach, tough sledding at both ends of the floor. How do you fix it? You know, it hurts our offense. We're not able to get stops and get out and running, so not a good quarter for us. You know, we just got to keep being aggressive defensively, be a little bit more disciplined. And we'll see if that can pick up as the game continues. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing it. Most of their shots have come in the flow of the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good clean first half. And over to the big fella. Your thoughts on the Grizzlies first half. First question. Why can't they hold on to the ball? I mean, they've been loose as heck with it, Ernie. Not even getting a shot up on several possessions. Even if you take a bad shot, there's a chance it goes in before you get offensive ball. But hold on to the ball. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We're seeing a tremendous game so far from Carl Malone. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often, he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. So on the four for Memphis. They've got John Morant. Anderson is out there with Brooks. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Herter in at the two spot. I love watching Malone just use that strength. He's so good at just kind of burrowing his way inside and then finishing above the rim. And this has been a comedy of errors. I mean, you can just add another one to the list. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Stockton against Morant. Now here's Stockton. He's guarded closely. Bird. Shock up two there. Bird's got five. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. And that one's good, Brooks. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead, and he's in position before the pass is made. Now here's Bird. Left side, Jordan. Shot clock at six over Anderson. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Adams has got seven rebounds in the game. Looking to end his cold spell and stolen by Jordan. Now here's Bird. He's got five. Pass to Ewing. He dishes it to Stockton. The shot comes out, and it's Memphis the other way. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Brooks misses. 
they are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Count the basket. Ewing's got his second basket. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Morant against Stockton and finished off by Morant. And how about that display of athleticism by Morant flying up in the air for the jam. Here's Jordan. Jordan. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. 14 points for him. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Patrick Ewing. And the foul called on ABC. First that is his first foul. foul of the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Morant drives in. Anderson trying to free himself up. How about the authority from Morant? The, the way he was running, you knew he was aiming to shatter the rim. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Bird against Brooks. Banked in off the glass. Brooks. Brooks has got his second basket of the night. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Stockton against Morant. Stockton dishes to Jordan. Up top, Bird. Baseline J on the way. Here's Ewing, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Steven Adams picks one up. The epitome of a fantastic center. A big, strong body. Two shots. Wreaks havoc on both ends. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Ewing. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Jacks up a three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from T3. And how about the assertiveness from Morant? Wasting no time firing. Love his approach. Stockton outside. Down low. No good from Bird. Bird's gone two for eight, shooting just 25% from the field. Brooks, the best to herder. Kicks it to Morant. Shoots from the line. It's hauled in by Ewing. Ewing's got nine rebounds now tonight. Stockton outside. Here he goes. It's good. Two points. Stockton's got ten points. You know, Stockton is really clever when it comes to scoring inside. Not the biggest guy, but he finds a way to get the job done. And here's Bird. He's got five. Shoots from 14. Stockton against Morant. A nice shot by Stockton. Stockton Stockton's got five points now this quarter. You've got to close out on Stockton now. He's a deadly three-point shooter and has textbook form. Adams trying to free himself up. And that one's good. Morant. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Here's Leitner. Ewing with it. 
Good. Nice job down low. Eight points for him. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not wow. less. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Stock. 13 points in the game. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game. But consider my doubts disappear. Now here's Burke following the miss by John ja Morant. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead. But honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. The shot's ja good. Morant's got 13 points in the second half. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Stockton passes to Leitner. He feeds it to Ewing. And the layup falls. Ewing's points. got 10 points. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Morant's against Stockton. Teardrop shot, and Morant finishes inside. Morant's got 22. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Ewing and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Ewing's got 10 points in the quarter. And Ewing with that size really creates a tough matchup, especially when he's attacking the offensive board. Here's Morant. And it's Leitner with the rebound. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Stocked in against Morant. It's stolen by Adams. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Poked away. It's stolen by Mullen. And here we go. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Now here's Morant. Two points for him. Here's Adams. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. High arcing shot. And here's Bird from the arc. It's not going to go for him. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Got a piece of it. Brooks against Mullen. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Ewing's got 12 points in just the second half. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. With a floater. Bird pulls it in. And there's the drive. That one good for two. Mullen's got four points in the quarter. Watching Mullen go to the hoop, I love it. An aggressive score. Knows how to knife his way into the heart of the defense. Morant's against Stockton. Morant right side. And Ewing sends it back. Here's Stockton. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Morant outside. Two minutes remaining. With the drive. Two and finished off by oh. Morant. Just as quick as anyone in this league. Morant can seemingly get to the hole at will. Stockton kicks to Ewing. From 13. 
No good off the back of the rim. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Ewing with it. Now defended by Adams. To the inside. Mullins shot is off. Here's Herter. He's covered by Stockton. Morant scanning the floor. And finished off John by Morant. Morant. And relentless in his attack, Morant is wearing down the defense, putting up some huge numbers here tonight. Now here's Stockton. 15 points in the game. Pass to Mullen. Ewing with it. Leitner the pass to Bird. And he finishes nicely on the way. Bird's got four points this quarter. And you know in the painted area, Bird has a variety of moves. Can take you either direction and finish with either hand. He's a nightmare to defend. And believe me, I woke up in sweats many a times dealing with that guy. Bird against Brooks. Just five on the clock. He's off on that one. Excellent defense there from Ewing. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Leitner. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. Stockton's got four assists now tonight. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Delivering the blowout. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Porter. Johnson is out there with Barrett. And it's ABC. And it's Robinson in at the five. Here's Porter. No good that time. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Down low. Here's Clark and Block. That one goes careening off the glass. On the wing, Johnson. Passes it to Robinson. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. Now here's Johnson following the miss by Jared Culver. Keeps it alive, and Robinson is right there. Robinson's got four points in the quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking Magic at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Chris Dunn checked in for Memphis. At the line for one. One shot. That's good from Morant. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Jones against Johnson. To the paint. And it's Robinson that time on the assist by Johnson. 17 points for Robinson. 
I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of Johnson, this guy always knows when one of his teammates is open. Here's Morant. Nice D from Barrett. They're running. Here's Porter. And he gets it to go. Porter with the shot. Porter's got his first bucket in this one. Sweet move by Porter Jr. Getting around the contact and finding the hoop. Here's Morant. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. All right, Second Greg, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, shooting from goodness. goodness. I mean, so John many terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. Take a break. Take a break. I'll tell you what. With Two the shots. Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. He misses the free throw. Don't worry, don't worry. And he sinks the second. Here's Johnson. the pass to Robinson. Here's Leitner. Back to Robinson. And that one is good. Robinson's got 19 points. Yes, yeah, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. Boy, they're getting caught spectating. You can't be a watcher out there. They're letting rebounds slip away. Everybody's got to get in there and fight for the ball. Now here's Jones. Great playing most of your career in the 90s. The game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled. But what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront right of these changes. The competition yes, committee Job that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park. But you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for... There are teams who try to improve this game and grow. And Johnson is an elite First talent, a special foul. talent. A very unique line, point guard with team. amazing Magic size, Johnson. about 6'9". He the can line flat line out two. take over games because he virtually can play every position. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. Conchars checked in for John Morant. And Johnson drops them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Here's Jones, and it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. Grizzlies ball. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Conchar, guarded by Robinson. Now Porter. Break player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Here's Dunn. Michael Porter making his last shot. Stolen by Magic. They break it out. Five on three. And it's blocked. Well, this is where measurements don't tell. 
the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Outside Porter with the teardrop. Here's Robinson. It's rebounded by Memphis. Clark's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Jones. And two free throws coming up, unable to get Magic that one Johnson. to go with all the content. Magic foul. Johnson picks one up. Team yeah, foul. the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Shooting from Memphis, Tyus Jones. Two shots. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Jones. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And so Jones nails both of them. And Clark, you played in a very physical era. What do you think about the way fouls are called right now? I really don't have a problem with it, Kevin. I mean, some of the fouls that were allowed in years past, way back in the 70s and 80s, I mean, those were borderline flagrant three kind of fouls. The game was more physical, and it was accepted as such. But I don't know if that was necessarily good for the game. I think now, the way they have it set up and... The way it's officiated as it relates to physicality and flagrant fouls. Yeah, it may be a little bit too far the other way, but I think it's the right balance overall. Now here's Jones. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. 13 points for Johnson. Yeah, you know, Johnson plays with such confidence and effervescence in the open floor. You never know what he's going to do, but most of the time, he makes a good decision. Jones, no luck. It seems like he changed his mind halfway through the layup, tried to go to something else, and, and flat out choked it. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Williams, Robinson with the block. Here's Barrett, and Barrett shoots it in. Boy, good vision that time for Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide-open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Now, here's Dunn. He's covered closely. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And Porter, here we go. And finished off by Porter muscling his way through the lane right there. Porter just keeps getting more aggressive as he gains confidence. Now here's Jones. And that one comes up a bit short. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Even with the offensive explosion we saw last year, Clark, there were some elite defensive teams. Which team do you think has the toughest D in the NBA right now? Well, I think you could lean towards the Sixers for what I evaluate. I mean, they had two Defensive Player of the Year candidates last season in Embiid and Simmons. And Simmons is as versatile and tough a defender as there is in the league. Uh, they set the tone for the rest of the team. And you can't discount the Golden State Warriors either. Um, when you've got a guy like Draymond Green and other good defenders with him, that team can be pretty stingy defensively. Too. The first one falls. Adams, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And both free throws, good for Johnson. And so here's Memphis. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And here is Dunn. 
to stop the run. No good that time. Nice D from Barrett. And still, he scoreless. Boy, they could use just a little bit of help from him. And here are the Grizzlies now. Done outside. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the playing tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons, and you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Johnson's got most of his shots to fall. Six makes in nine tries. Pass to Adams. Memphis moving that ball around. Now here's Williams. To the middle. And Adams with the slam. Oh, he threw that one down. Adams, one of the fiercest competitors in the league. Johnson against Dunn. Johnson inside. It's good on the putback. Johnson's got 10 points in just the second half. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And Barrett with the basket on the assist by Johnson. From Magic. Johnson's got five assists in the game. And here are the Grizzlies now. Dunn looking over the floor. Pass to Conshaw. Outside Williams. And here is Adams. He's guarded by Johnson. Adams dishes to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dunn. Here's Adams. Second chance shot. And it's Johnson with the rebound. Outside Porter. Amazing how many players we're seeing come into the NBA, Clark, from all over the world right now. Well, it's truly a global game, Kevin, and I give credit to former Commissioner David Stern and certainly Adam Silver and his staff. But the league is a global league. The star players have done a great job of promoting it as a worldwide game as well. Every year you get players from multiple continents, Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia. Basketball is, um, again, it's a global game, so it makes sense we'll see more players from all over the world in the NBA. Now here's Johnson. Passes it to Barrett. Robinson kicks to Barrett. Down against Johnson. Right side Robinson. Now here's Johnson. Defense is right there. They turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Stockton's checked in for Johnson. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Tyus Jones comes in for Chris Dunn. Jones with it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 157 left in the fourth quarter of this one. The pass to Concha. That's tipped. Here's Stockton. to Barrett. Here's Leitner. Here's Robinson. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Robinson's got 21 in the game. Well, I like the stroke of David Robinson, especially from the mid-range area. I mean, softly lofting these shots up like he's in the gym all by himself. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Clock is at three. Jones, that's for two. The Grizzlies with another miss. As they've been difficult to stop lately. Yeah, and this run could stretch out that lead even more. Stockton passes to Barrett. Back to Stockton. Now, here's Barrett. Not a lot of room. Robinson laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now, here's Culver. 
Robinson with the block. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Porter passes to Robinson. Back to Porter. Barrett against Clark. And he stays with it. And he's able to get it back. Pass to Stockton. Latrey. Robinson kicks to Stockton. Back to Barrett. Outside Robinson. And so they get the victory here at home. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.